Last issue, we talked about composition and rule of thirds. After you start to really get a grasp of rule of thirds, the next thing you might think about is motion and implied motion in your photographs. So what I mean by that is, for example, in this photograph, the boat is moving, clearly, and it's moving out of the frame. So it's already moved all the way across here, and it's about to go out of the frame. And when that happens, your eyes hit the boat and follow it out and then hit the boat and follow it out and the rest of this photo ends up kind of being wasted space because your eyes don't look at it very much. So I'm going to simulate what this would look like if the boat were moving into the photo. So if you could, in this first example, you want to try to move your camera so that the boat is on this end moving into the photo more like this. And then the viewer's eyes will bounce around the photo more following the boat towards this side over here. Let's look at another example from the challenge. This is another really great example of the theme, it means the world to me, and that we have this relationship between the child and the two women, and we also have the outdoor beach conservation theme if we want it there too. The photographer did a really good job of making sure to get the entire shadow here, and just a really nice capture. However, they're moving, they're walking this direction, and so your eye will hit them and follow them out of the photo. And the way to fix that would be to move your camera and try to capture the photo so that they're on the right side moving into the photograph. Now in this example, the two swans that we see aren't actually moving, at least we can assume that they're not moving, but there's implied motion here because this brighter swan is facing the left and they're both looking left so the implied motion is towards the left and, and it's coming sort of down to the left lower corner outside of the photo again so over here this space gets a little bit wasted because our eyes look at the swans and then immediately come off the edge of the photo so of course if you could move your camera a little bit so that you catch the swans on the right side looking left, that would be ideal. Here's another really good example of it means the world to me with the outdoor clean water and the person who probably means the world to the photographer. And in this case, she looks stationary, so we don't see movement, except that again, she's looking this direction. So we hit the photo here, maybe here along the waves, see her look down towards the right and off the page. So we have this wasted space back here. And ideally, if you could turn your camera and catch her looking to the right from the left and have all this space over here, then you'll have a more successful composition.